Hello, welcome to Acolyte Insights Explosion Networks Up Show, where we break down and discuss each and every episode of Star Wars original series Acolyte. My name is Dylan Blight. Still in shock. Also here, Ashley Hobley. Hey, Dylan. Excited to be here. It's fucking cool, right? <laughs> that was fucking cool, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, the th- the thing coming into this is like, I'm like. I don't know if it's just a two-minute episode where we both go, well, that was fucking awesome. There's not much to discuss. Everyone's dead. <laughs> cool. All right. See you next week. <laughs> uh, this week's episode, though, I suppose to do the, the usual bit, uh, it was titled Night, so that makes sense. Uh, synopsis was, in a dense jungle, the Jedi put to their test when they confront a rising darkness. Once again, directed by Alex Garcia-Lopez, um, written by uh, Cora Dana and Cameron Squires. I mean, yeah. What do you think? <laughs> Well, do you want to gloat that you called it last week? <laughs> I I called it episode two or something. I said it. I think the first episode you showed up in, I said it. I'll have to go back and see if I can find no, that. I think I'd remember because I would have called nah. you and said that's a dumb idea. You probably did, though. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even if, um, even last week you were really defensive at first and then uh, we were the like, I thought oh, about yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the more it made sense. Yeah. Um, I mean, let's just go with that, I guess. Like, yeah, what, Manny Jacinto, big reveal. Yeah. Oh, what do you dip. reckon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dip, yeah. What do you reckon? Uh, yeah, awesome. I mean, you know, we love a good puppeteer uh, pulling strings. Like, um, the video I was just watching was talking about, you know, how Palpatine, we don't watch Palpatine kind of manipulate everything in the original trilogy. Uh, and, you know, we see here, uh, Chimera, uh, you know, doing a similar kind of thing, uh, you know, manipulating May, you know, even though he wasn't wearing the mask or whatever. Um, but yeah, the reveal was really cool. It was like halfway through the episode after he'd already done a bunch of cool shit. So, um, yeah, it was a cool payoff. Now, <laughs> the Star Wars fans have been upset that uh uh Kai whatever a uh, uh, Bundy Mundy uh said that the Sith uh, does this big line into Phantom Menace and says that the Sith the Sith haven't been around for a hundred years. Um so they're really upset that there's this there's a Sith in this show, even though that character's not here um yep. to know about it. So it's the line currently still makes sense and doesn't matter. But um the line makes sense if they all die. <laughs> Which, Which they probably we're pretty will. close. Yeah, we're pretty close to that. Um, but what do you what do you reckon? What do you like? His his explanation is more or less like, you know, he's asked why he's doing what he does, and it's he says he wants two things, which is basically he wants a, a an apprentice. Yeah, he an wants an apprentice. He wants to do what he wants, and he wants to do what he wants. He's a freedom fighter, you know. He wants, you know, he's a, you know, he wants to be left alone. To do what he wants by himself, you know? Doesn't want governments and, invading his, you know, force using. And I mean, the other, the other thing, though, is that he, he he doesn't actually say he is a Sith. No, he says like, that you would call him a Sith. Yeah. So he doesn't self-identify as a Sith. You know? So thus, no, he's like, he's I have no Sith. name, but you would call me a Sith. Yeah. Which he could read into and just say that Jedi assume that anyone who's not Jedi are Sith. Well, no, they have very, they've already established this very cool, uh, established rules around Sith. Again, you know, something that he points out rules, 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 you know. Mm. It's like, oh, there's always a master and there's always a apprentice. Yeah. You know? It's like even the Sith have rules, though. So, yeah, he so doesn't have any rules. He just yeah. wants to, he just wants to pass on s- his knowledge to somebody, though. I saw someone on Twitter point out, um, give a good shout out that they thought of the the elder episode from Star Wars Visions, where the old dude's a Sith, but he basically says a very similar thing, which is that he's like, I don't want to be left the fuck alone, <laughs> you know. <laughs> just, he's like, I want to the that old dude's just like, I want to be, a, I just want to do what I want and leave me alone. And then the Jedi comes into the village and says, "You got to fight me," and he's just like, "Fuck off," <laughs> you know. <laughs> so. I was like, that's good. Yeah. Good pull, I think. Similar sort of yeah. thing. Um, 
the other interesting thing, there's a, there's a few things that I didn't pick up on, but of course the internet has. Um, the uh, other potential thing with him, what do we, what, what, how do we pronounce his name? Kami. Go on, Kami. Kami. Which also, I don't know if you've be. seen, but the internet named him during the past week, prior mm. to his reveal. Which is? Darth Teeth. Darth Teeth? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I feel like we can do better. Teeth. But... <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've seen people say that the the last music, the, and I went back and listened to it and they were right. Maybe I just, I was not paying, and there's, there's actually a few things I missed. I think I was just so like, in it <laughs> you know like <laughs> i'm like how, how are people paying this much attention i'm like i'm just you know by the end of the episode I'm not paying it in. T- yeah i'm just taking it in i'll be honest i've watched um, this episode twice <laughs> i finished oh, watching really? it right. i messaged you oh i'm going out to the city and i'm like fuck i'll just watch put, start again <laughs> i mean honestly it's one of those things where i'm like i could easily watch it again but i'm like don't want to the pain um the music that plays at the end of the episode when he goes and picks on, not picks on, goes and sees uh, Osha is Kylo Ren's song. What? Osha? What do you mean? Isn't uh, that May? May? No, Whatever. No. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever you want to believe yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's Kylo's song, his music, uh, which would play into another theory that people have jumped, have been um, having since. Uh, the character first showed up in episode two, whatever he showed up in, mm. which is that he is the first Knight of Ren. Yeah, I did see a comic panel like pop up mm. of a very similar looking, you know, uh, shirtless because th- <laughs> shirtless um, dude with the mask. <laughs> He's hang on. I'm sure if I do a quick search, I can find. <laughs> um, well, I mean, the thing is that so in the they because the I guess the comics and books the the expanded hit law for them was that they were uh, like whoever was the lead, leader was just called Ren, and Ben Solo was like the I don't know third or fourth leader of the Knights of Ren. Quimir? Kamir is Ren. That is an interesting photo job, but Photoshop job, but yes. <laughs> I mean, the comic panel. Yeah, the comic panel. Yes, yes, yes. That, yeah. Which I think is from one of the. I can't remember what comic it was. They did like a whole storyline where they, comic. with like, um, they dove into the history when the Knights of Ren were around working with like, uh, um, Kira and stuff. Mm. So, could be from that. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not against it. I'm not really for it either. <laughs> if that, you know, yeah. I like if it, if it happened uh, and it was done well, I'm is. sure I'd, yeah. I'd be all aboard, but currently I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in search of, uh, Knights of Ren, uh, tie in content, yeah. <laughs> you know, but, I don't mind it. Cause then it's, you know, it's. More than just Sith again, you know. Hey, it's just more than just the Sith, you know. We're kind yeah. of establishing more groups of Force users, which I'm okay yes. with. Which I'm all for. Which, you know, kind <laughs> of lent. What we've seen so far hasn't been very positive. No, but I don't care. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, here's here's the thing, and I think the, the problem is this is what, and I think like if you was to go into like Disney, um. In my opinion, Disney Disney's choice to take two steps backwards with the Rise of Skywalker and try and, I guess, uh, placate a bit more towards fixing stuff that the quote-unquote fans were unsep- un- mm-hmm. upset about, I think at this stage, they just have to accept that trying to um, placate to that audience, if, if you did everything that they want to make all these those loud, angry fans happy, I think, you, like, you're... you're, you're the Star Wars could only go so far. It'll be niche then. Yeah. You know, it'll become dry, uninteresting. Like, as much as they may be like, it's the best thing ever. You fixed it. It's finally the best. It just wouldn't be good. So I think they, at the moment, and the problem is, is I don't, after what would happen with Rise of Skywalker, I don't have 
faith slash trust that they actually w- realize that. I'm not. I'm. I'm really not sure because they consistently do things either bad or good or like it's one step forward, two steps back consistently. Mm. You know, and when a show like this comes out, and again, we've we've said the show isn't. You know, the the writing's been a little bit iffy here and there, and whatever else, but it's it's definitely got lots of. Um, it's it's still always been consistently interesting. Yeah. Um, each episode, and then you get to an episode like this, and you're like, holy shit, that was some top tier, like probably some of the best lightsaber shit we've seen. Yeah. I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like so it. But I don't know if they, you know, because you still we know how much movie companies and video game companies or whatever just read into like their Metacritic scores and stuff, and this shit is still just like at that three point whatever audience score you know like really really low yeah and i i, I just hope hope i hope this <laughs> i'm hoping they see the reaction after this episode and like oh those are the actual fans yeah. these are the people we need but, to listen to but they're not going to like i've already i couldn't help myself I, I already like was like i wonder how they'll be trying to i wonder how those the how they the, break on this that side of youtube is uh, like defending it or trying to so i went and clicked on a couple the, very much the same, like within the first two minutes. One guy literally goes, Yeah, the lightsaber fights were okay, like, you know, decent at least. But you know, five episodes in, it doesn't matter how good the lightsaber fights in, I just don't care about these characters. I don't care about these stories. I don't care about anything that's happening. And of course, I'm sitting there going, Who the fuck are you watching it for? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> yeah. like you, I don't, like, you're not going to win them over with anything. No. We could be sitting here saying this is the best lightsaber fight scene in Star Wars anything, live action, animated, whatever, and they'll be like, yeah, it's pretty good, but it's still pretty woke. And that just, like, <laughs> I mean, I saw another video where they, they, it's still like, they were like Star Wars Acolyte Episode 5, Wokeness Gone Mad. I'm like, what was woke about What in this such- episode, was it because... He- He's not a white dude. That's the bad guy. They're like, well, they got an Asian dude killing killing the Jedi. That's pretty woke, <laughs> you know. So I, I, I just think I don't know how they're gonna. And that's my that's my consistent worry whenever Star Wars something good happens with Star Wars, you know. Um, and I can't like a, it's sort of like a it's sort of like this thing where it disrupts my enjoyment a little bit because even like coming into like we love Andor, of course. And still, Andor mm. is probably the least. I wouldn't be surprised if Andor was like the least lo- viewed Disney Plus Star Which Wars. Which probably series. helped it more than now that you think about it, because so many people are like, oh, it doesn't have Jedi or lightsabers. I don't care about watching it. Yeah. Um. All the you know, those kind of fans stayed away from it, uh, or at least weren't offended that they you know were tackling the uh, themes and uh, you know storylines that they wanted to tackle in Andor. Uh, but you you tack, you address the deity of the the Jedi in any way, and a certain segment of fans are going to be angry. Mm. I, maybe that's the difference. Like with Andor, they were like, "This is just no." Like nobody they, watched Andor. That was no one watched it. And then even if they did, they went, "Well, it's some woke bullshit." But at least they're not. At least they're not ruining. Uh, st- they're not ruining the Jedi. You know, <laughs> they're just they're just being woke over here. Because in, in yeah. retrospect, I don't think the complaints were as bad as they are with like this, or, um, or, or even like having Reva in Obi Wan and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's it's always when it's related to Jedi or Force or something like that. Um, yeah, like obviously we saw that. Not to to go too off too far off the the beat path of this episode, but the uh, the news the other day or the leak, I guess, from that director talking about how. Um, you know, you're going to do with all Death Star, are you, mate? Uh, ben Mendelssohn's going to be coming <laughs> back to <laughs> to, uh, to Rogue once now. Can Everyone can uh, get ready to see that clip that I brought up on uh, whatever podcast <laughs> um, shared around a lot, a lot more. Um, but, you know, I saw that and I started getting really excited because I, I know that I have full faith in everyone involved in that show to the degree mm-hmm. that I see. I read that it, a, a cameo or whatever. And my mind doesn't go, oh, God. Like it does for the Mandalorian where I'm like, oh, just tying in another fucking character for no reason. It's going to be unrelated. Just I, I, Like I, I read he's going to read in the last couple of episodes and I go, I'm sure that'll make sense. I have full faith. Like no yeah. no doubt. That's exciting. Looking forward to seeing it. You know? Um, but it's just, I think it's just sort of sad that the, 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 the one show that I would consider like the best Star Wars show 
and have full faith in. No one, I don't see any, barely any excitement about. It. All I see is people complaining about this. Oh. Sad. Anyway, mm. let's talk about the light side of fire because it's the whole cool. episode. <laughs> I mean, it's a whole episode, right? It is, yeah. Just about. Well, it's just a continuous fight. Continuous fighting, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's continuous fighting just broken down into a couple different people fighting um, and, and stuff with some, like, yeah. cutaways to to um, uh, Yord and uh, Osha, Osha and Osha stuff. And but, like, everyone's... Jackie, the, yeah. The, yeah, the fights start to finish just with some breaks, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, how, like... I'll be honest, like the episodes, the, the part I tweeted about where I said, uh, like I Holy was God. only like five minutes into the episode, which was start the episode. And then I actually had a, a moment where I was like, oh no, they're going to fuck me. Like, cause the episode starts with Osha on the ground, obviously getting up and she's just watching. They're going to do the fucking Tyrion thing with the I battles. was like, yeah, they've done the Tyrion thing. I'm, my mind was going, oh God, they've just fucking, they've, we've missed it. We've missed it. Cool, great, awesome, whatever. You know, and I'm I'm, I'm ready to accept that. I'm going. All right, well, show me something cool then. That's disappointing after the huge cliffhanger, and then mm. shit goes just goes off. But it was the moment where <laughs> it was the moment where he like stuck the lightsaber through the dude, and then force pulled the other one through it like a fucking <laughs> kebab. I was just sitting here eating lunch and go, holy fuck! And then, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was like, how's that not cool? <laughs> no, for me, I think the moment was just before it. When he fucking headbutted this lightsabers. Uh, and apparent, uh, you know, shorter them out. So apparently, uh, there is a substance called cortis? Cortosis or something, yeah. Cortosis, yeah. Which can uh, short out lightsabers and blasters and shit. So, yeah. Use so that idea comics, to full effect. Yeah. So it's the first live action, at least uh, as far as I'm aware, first live action appearance of it outside of some comics and stuff like that. Um, it's really cool. I honestly did not notice it for the first couple of times. I just I actually thought he must have, he just nipped their lightsabers with his lightsaber or something like that at first. And then they come back on. I was like, well, they're not broken. They were just like shorted. Um, but I like the way they do it too, because, and it, especially because, you know, like when people will have, I like in, I'm trying to think of my words right. I like in uh, anything where they people know they have like a bulletproof thing or something. You know, think about the way John Wick uses his like bulletproof armor. Like he froze it into the bullets almost. You know, it's not like it just a, you know. So he's not just using it. It's not just there like a bulletproof vest to take a blow if necessary. He literally like, as you're saying, like headbutts the lightsaber blades because he knows he can short them out and stuff. So he's not just using it defensively, his armor. He's using it uh, uh, offensively, offensively, you know. Yeah. Um, and I think the other thing that's really cool is that the, the way they do it is he's made a choice. He's like, well, I've got this armor that's good at shorting out Jedi lightsabers and um, will stop blaster bolts and stuff. However, as they show, it's not very protective against actual physical attack because the second anyone starts like wailing on him, they just punch him right in the face. <laughs> as, yeah. uh, as Jackie, uh, as Jackie, does, Jackie does, doing, yeah. just like whams on him. So in that moment, you see, oh, like it's a helmet, but it's not actually that protective. You know, there was no freaking, you know, straps or anything, you know. <laughs> no. It's just, it just held there in place by will. Yeah. Tightness. So it's like a, a choice. So, um, but I thought that was really cool. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's so funny because I can't remember who, which Twitter, oh, fuck. one of the good, Star Wars YouTubers. There's a good, there's a light <laughs> side and a dark side. Um, I'm continuing to say this, even though that dude was shit talking on the YouTube. I don't know if he's. <laughs> You're as bad as them. No, they're a bunch of incels, dude. All right, fuck off. Yeah. Um, the. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We've we've left it till halfway through the episode. Just not listening this far. Yeah. <laughs> you've you've hate listened. Whatever. Um, the yeah, one of the good ones I saw tw uh, tweet out that. You know, like ahead of the episode, had done like a, a screenshot from last week's episode and like put like, it crosses through all the Jedi of then, um, yeah. Soul, Jackie, and um, Yord as like, <laughs> well, these three are obviously the only ones that are surviving, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, true. yeah, and I mean, I, I would never have guessed it to be honest. And I, I think killing them all in a way that they do, like getting fucking kebabbed like Jackie does. And then getting no, a she gets snap. fucking. He pulls out like a short blade. Well, yeah, he pulls out, out a secret lightsaber. short blade. Yeah, so he blocks the one lightsaber and then just 
pokes her like three times in the chest. Yeah. Which is wild. Which then reve- it ends up being the reveal shot mm. of him. So Fucking good. Cool. It's very cool. She died for a good reason. Yeah. Well, she dies. It's just, I, I did not think she would die. Like, there was a second when she comes out and starts fighting him. I'm like, oh God, she's about to get like skewered as well. And then she starts putting up a, a real fight. And I was like, oh yeah. Yeah. Fucking. She go just off. had this cool fight with, with May as well. Uh, May. Yeah. In the, I was like, go you know, off X23. You know? Trying to hold, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to, you know, hold, you know, handcuff her. Hmm. Talking and shit. And obviously, um, Yord gets his neck just completely snapped, which I think he's saying a nap, neck snapping and neck sna- snapping in Star Wars is quite visceral. For like yeah. you're used to seeing people, people blast don't a shot die stuff, but in normal, normal ways, ways in Star Wars. No, you know, even when they fall down like a major shaft, they've been sliced in half with a lightsaber. Yeah, first. yeah, exactly. You know, or electrocuted. <laughs> you know? and they. I think it's really smart the way they did it because if the three, if it was only the three of them, right? Let's say it was, or well, four of them, I guess, including Osha. Let's say the four of them, including Osha, your Jackie and Assault, Master Assault, were the four people that headed into this episode. You're like, one of these people is probably dying. Because hmm. someone's going to die, right? I'd be like, someone has to die, one person. But they sort of did the, the thing where they're like, well, let's just throw in four or five random Jedi on this mission. And you're like, well, there's the cannon fodder, right? Yeah. There's, the, there's the dudes who are going to die. So I didn't really think about it because I'm like, well, there's, you've, you've, you've done protective plot armor for them, right? And then they, they have Yord actually fuck off. And I'm like, well, he's safe. He's running off with Osha. With Osha. So yeah, they did a lot of like swerving to really. Yeah. You couldn't have seen it coming, I don't think. No. Yeah, it was good. There was a lot of last minute saves. Uh, I, one of the coolest moments was him throwing the lightsaber, mm. like you do in the video games, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Like super far, and you know, Soul blocks it, and then he manages to force pull it back. And then there's just that standing shot. You get the three trees falling down. Fun cool. <laughs> There's a lot of cool shit. It was cool. There's a lot of really good force pushing in this too, where people look like the different, I don't know, like Kiami Ha, like, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, like force pushing just people a lot, which is cool as well. Yeah. And it wasn't just the lightsaber fights. There was like really good hand to hand combat in this as well, I thought. Yeah. Well, uh, Lee Jung Jae goes hand to hand. Yeah. And I mean, there's a lot of hand to hand. And he wins shooting. there. Yeah. Interesting. And he would have won. Think? He could have won. He could have ended it all. He could have. So let's. Rules. I guess that's the other major thing. So the you know the dialogue around, um, you know whatever Soul's big secret is and whatever. Mm-hmm. What are you what are you reading between the lines here? What's what's Soul's big secret? Any more clues? Any more th- theories? I don't know. I feel like maybe they did instigate the, the witches thing, to get her out. You know. Maybe there wasn't someone playing him against it. Maybe they went in. They decided they were going to rescue this kid from these witches. And they instigated it. <laughs> or, or he that, feels the prob- like they play. Yeah, I don't know. The problem I would have with completely subverting what... Like, I feel like they can... Obviously, I... Uh, like, I don't think I, maybe as a group, maybe just Soul. Hmm. Soul came up with a reason for why they should go in to justify we, it. We, we see her start the fire, though. Do we know? Yeah, well, that and could, this that is could have just been told from... Yeah, the, but this is going to be my problem, because the, the, the episode wasn't told from May's perspective. It was just yeah. an episode, right? In general, yeah. It wasn't it was told telling the story to someone. The witch's perspective, but... Yeah. And I, I feel like if they're going to... like. I, I, I've said, obviously, we're going to see it. I think we're obviously going to go back to it and see it, see it from a well, different angle. my guess is next episode, it's Sol explaining to Osha, in quotation marks, uh, what actually happened. Hmm. I feel like next week's episode is going to be interesting because my hunch is that we're going to see them both switch sides. Well, are you, do you reckon it's next week? Because the... K- K- Gon- K- Gon- Koganada, episodes, yeah. Koganada episodes, episodes. I seven. think it'll be like a book ending thing where 
Okay. He's telling him, and then we flash back. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I think, um, uh, you know, old uh, Tafes is going to be uh, trying to convince Osha to come to her side, and Sol is going to try to convince May to come to his side. Well, he, he knows it too, because she has the tattoo and... Oh yeah, it was pretty pretty obvious, you know. Pretty obvious, yeah. I was like, why the fuck is she slicing her hair? <laughs> that was very. Oh, weird. straight away, I was like, I, I realized what she was. She's going full. Also, can I say thing. what was the weirdest cut in this entire show? Was mm. she knocks out Soul, and then they does like a wipe to like the mountainside, mm. and then we cut straight back to. Yeah, I don't know. It was like just a. It was meant to be like was, I guess a passage of time or something. I don't know. Why? Because it, it was just picked up right after. Yeah, I don't know. I guess to show that it wasn't nighttime anymore. I guess that's yeah. the only thing. It's daytime um, now, yeah. But no, that was really dumb. <laughs> I mean, for 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 them on the ship, I, I would. I'm going to be slightly. I mean, I can believe it because Soul's like so upset. I guess, but I just believe with him, who's been shown to be so sensitive, like he's the first person to to realize, you know. Kumi is coming down last episode and like he's he's shown to be very like sensitive to the force. I'll just be yeah. sort of like him being that blindsided and believing it's it's Osha's sort of a stretch for me. Like especially after a uh, I think people are overstating people's the Jedi sensing of things. Not the Jedi, him. He's shown to be good. Good at he's shown to be very in yeah, tune with his I think he's force. thrown out of balance by, you know, the Well yeah, that's today. the thing, I guess. That's the 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 explanation I'm willing to deal with that he's so frying out of it. Now, who's going to save the Dale next week? Is going to be Basil. Though. Basil. <laughs> well, Basil saved Pip. Yeah, uh, Basil's going to show up with Pip um, and go, "Hey, here's your thing." And he's going to spray it with water. Get, get yeah, some revenge. And, and May's going to go. I don't. What's this? I don't care about it. There you go. Oh, mm. Or I guess that if if it's not that sort of thing, I, I guess the direction we're sort of heading in is that. Osha does complete, sorry, May does complete her mission because now that she's that close to Sol, she could potentially kill him without a weapon and complete mm. her training. Would be the would be the thing. That, the interesting I, thing is the that people are pointing out that uh, Osha defeated her enemy without using a weapon because she took out Camille with the freaking light and the bugs. So is she meant to be the true acolyte that he's after? Yeah, but does that count? I don't know. I don't think that counts. Prophecies are weird. <laughs> mm. 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 Um. So the, and it's people have done that thing where they've gone back to the trailer and they're like, "There's only two shots from the trailer that haven't we haven't seen yet." So everything from here is like Fresh. a mystery. But it's like the one thing, the only two shots left is there's, there's a shot of Osha or May, like. I don't know, receiving some stuff and they're in some different clothes or something. Um, and then there's the... Oof. uh Crazy. Yeah, shocking. Crazy. And then the the big one is that there's the one shot of uh, Vanestra coming in with her whip lightsaber, which looks like it could be on the same planet. So maybe she shows up next episode to investigate what happened to all the fucking Jedi that she sent <laughs> It's like, to, why are they all know, dead? <laughs> yeah. We have to retrieve all their bodies for yeah. rules. I tell you what I did appreciate, just seeing <laughs> such a little thing, but I'm like, you see people like whip off their cloaks and stuff so much, but just the fact he goes back and like picks up his helmet and picks up his cloak, you know, just like, yeah, little stuff like that. But yeah. Um, anything else? Um, no, I just yeah, I just think the change of attitude from Camille as soon as he's revealed. Is fun. Mm. He's just, yeah, he's just a fun to bounce off Sol as well. I don't know. I do you reckon there's a history between them two? Because he says, I recognize your presence. Is it, you know? Um, it's tough to say because he's, you know, was he there when the fire went down? I don't know. I'm, I'm not against the idea. I'm going to throw out there that. Because it would make sense at this stage based on all the, the hints and stuff. 
but I don't know if it pissed people off too much because everyone loves Soul. But what if Soul's like the opposite of what we usually see in that we've seen Jedi go to Sith, but what if he's, he's a Sith he went to Jedi? Maybe. I mean, it's not unheard of, you know. Everybody loves the uh, from the Old Republic, that storyline. Mm. You know. But they haven't done it in a modern Modern actual story story where you had don't have a choice into what's happening (laughs) yes because like the fact he mentions what have you done with your dark side and you know all these your darkness yeah all that sort of stuff just yeah that's especially when we went into the show and the sort of pitch was well it's focusing on a lot of dark side characters or like the pitch was sort of I think even initially it was sort of, it'll be from the point of view of the Sith or, you know, something like that. Like, it'll, it'll focus on dark side years mm. instead of Jedi, like we usually focus. I mean, if he's revealed to have been a, a Sith turned to the light side, then that would still, like, obviously count. So then the majority of the characters the show is about are or have been dark side slash Sith people. Hmm. Maybe. Who knows? I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm being right about everything else is all I'm going to say. So, Yeah. God for predictions on this show. All right. Uh, so also, I'll go for this. Yep. Last couple of things. Uh, Chimera calls Jackie it. Yep. A lot of people saying that's disrespectful. Maybe it's just being respectful of a pro dance. He doesn't know. No, I think it was highly purposely <laughs> disrespectful, but yeah. <laughs> uh, and then Manny Jacinto. Wow, those biceps. Yeah, my dude my dude uh flexed up. Yeah. He, he probably, I, I saw it by the way, just yeah, before we flex out. Outside of uh old mate flexing up from nerd to to uh kill a Sith or whatever. Um he <laughs> some, I saw someone share on Twitter this this interview from like before the show came out or something, getting asked about who his favorite Star Wars person is or something like that actor, and he he's he go he's like oh Hayden Christensen, really look up to Hayden Christensen, and then like watching <laughs> it back, you even see um Amanda Sten, Stenberg like give give like a side eye sort of thing, like it's, but no one would have noticed I think or paid any attention at the time, and yeah, Manny continues, he's like yeah, just you know he's I just really look up to him, Hayden Christensen, just want to continue in the, the tradition of uh, Canadians joining Star Wars, which I guess everyone at the time took like just actors joining Star Wars, but he's like, nah, just killing everyone. <laughs> 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 yeah. So it's quite funny when characters have to do or actors have to do interviews Press pre before, like before, before and like have out. to like talk. Well, if, I mean, that's what the most like, actually are. Most press is before people have actually watched the thing, so. Yeah, but like where the characters especially have like a uh, a big a reveal secret. or something, yeah. you know, a secret, and they have to do stuff yeah. like that. That's funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I enjoy that he's uh, continuing the tradition of uh, Asian people being awesome in Star Wars. You know, think about it. You know, we've got Soul. We've got oh, I just realized why it's woke. We've got- <laughs> it's too Asian. Like as the <laughs> like dark versus light, they're both. We got Asian. me. Yeah. You know, uh, me things. Mailing's character. Yeah. And then uh was it Donnie Lee and his mate, Rogue mm. One, they're fantastic too. Mm. That's the that's how you make good Star Wars, you stick a bunch of Asians in. Mm. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Uh. Rose. <laughs> I do we do like Rose. Rose. Rose isn't the problem. What they did the rose though. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> All right, they'll do it for this week's episode. Of course, there's three episodes left of uh, the Acolyte. I mean, we've had two like half hour episodes, which I mean, I clicked, I checked the runtime. Uh, that's the only other thing. I've seen people complaining that the episodes are too short. I'm yeah, I like, fuck when whatever. As long as <laughs> whatever you need to do. Yeah. I guess, you know, I mean, there's been some pacing issues which have so far. And I guess you could have expanded on people's. Uh, motivations and that kind of stuff, but I thought I haven't had that much of an issue. No, I've got no issue. It just leaves you wanting more constantly. No, I've got no issue. I, uh, I'm wondering if we got, so, because at the moment, it's like the first episode, Lost slash Found, right? Episode Mm -hmm. 2, Revenge slash Justice. Two points of view, two points of view. Episode 3, Destiny. Flashback. I think it's going to reverse like Fate or something like that. Yeah. And then like this episode, Day, and then, like, seeing night. the picture all come together, it's like this episode, night, that makes sense. It's 
the same thing. It's like next week's episode. Yeah, I'm, really, I'm just I'm really into the titles for the show. For some <laughs> I like them. I think it, I think they're good. Show. Um, thank you for listening to, uh, to this week's episode. Of course, let's know your uh, thoughts on the show if you're enjoying it. Um, if you're not, I don't really care. Um, follow and check out all the other things on explosionnetwork.com. Appreciate your support, um, and we'll see you here sometime next week. Goodbye. Yeah. Shout out to all the meme makers out there doing the the work. All the yord memes now that he's dead. Yeah. yeah. Rest in peace.